Living the dream. It's soap on it all. Living the dream on Scotland. Fucking they're all possessed. So everyone goes, well, what are the youngsters doing? We'll have to do that. So, so my mate goes to me. Um, my mate Lee there, so that's his, his top there. He's passed away now, but he was a funny fucker. He says to me, um, lads, we'll have to get one of these massages. I said, where will we get it from, though, lads? I said, I don't know anyone who does these deep tissue ones. So he goes, I'll find someone, lads. I said, um, I'll get on the net. So he gets on the net, right? And he went to found someone from Birkenhead. Fucking hell, she'd have laughed him straight away, <laughs> should I? When he said Birkenhead, lads, a Jedi. So I said, um, yeah, and he said, he said he'll come to the gym and... Um, how many of us want it done? I said, well, it's about seven all want it done. I said, that's a bit much for them, though. You know, I've heard when they work on big fellas, they do two or three and the fuck for the day, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of work. He went, he said he'll do the seven. <laughs> hey, and he was 40 quid, but he said to me, he said, because it's your gym, and he's using your gym, yours is free. So I played the R last, Bill. I went, well, I are, I'll go first. I thought, you can do me while he's fresh and he's not yeah. fucked. So we had the room upstairs. This is in the, the old gym. And he come in, lads, and he was like Penfolds out of danger. I was like little fucking bins on him. And I thought, looks a bit of a bacon, this cunt. And anyone who doesn't know what a bacon means, it means we call it a little bit of bacon. He looked like a nonce. So he has these little stead fucking John Lennons on. And he's like Penfolds, little few ears scrapping out of his head, little skinny cunt. <laughs> so he goes up, me and him, and he lays the bed out. And um, he went, I get stripped. I put, leaves me bills on, obviously. It wasn't an oily one. No, but leaves me bills on. And it gets on him. Um, Gets on the bed like, so he went. Do you mind if I take my pants off? I was like, Billy, <laughs> right? So he said, I went. What lad? He went. I move better, a lot better. He said around the table if I don't have pants on. I went. Have you got your fucking undies on, like lad? And he went. Oh yes, oh yes. You know what I mean? But when he. When he had his undies on, lad, he was that skinny. He had like, you know, them old fashioned boxies, the big massive ones, the like cotton ones. And he was just waving on them, you know, like, and he's moving around the bed and he's fucking. So he pours all this oil on me and I'm a big hairy cunt, Billy. And he was just like caressing me. <laughs> Honest two story, Billy, he's just like caressing me. And I'm like, oh, this doesn't seem yeah. like this, lad. What the fuck's going on here? Oh, he gets on me traps and he's like, you're supposed to get right in, aren't you? I've seen them Americans and they're fucking screaming, Bill. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm getting stroked like an owl moggy. <laughs> and it's just like that on me. And I'm thinking, what the fuck's going on with this cunt? You know what I mean? He's just stroked. So I, I got off straight through and I went, hey, lad. I said, aren't these supposed to hurt? And he went, they're obviously doing the massage wrong. And I said, wrong, lad. I said, you're just stroking me, lad. <laughs> I said, I'm not getting nothing out of this. It's not hurting. He went... That's because they're not a right masseur. I said, and I've never seen them throw oil on them, you know, lad. Right? <laughs> so I thought, it's free. So hang with it, hang with it. So he starts fucking again. And lad, he brushed past me. And you know them bills he had on? <laughs> right? He had an ass on. It went right past me fucking arm. And I went, whoa. <laughs> what? Honest two story, Billy. I went, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, lad. And I jumped off the bed. I went, you're not fucking right. Right, sorry. but I thought, I'm not the only one going to get molested here, lad. I'm not telling them cunts to wait downstairs, right? I went, you're not fucking right, you can fuck up. And he was like, what? And he was standing there and I could see. He had a little matchstick I was stinging up and I went, whoa, lad, fuck that. Put on me thing and I thought, I'm not the only one going to get abused off this fucker, right? All these meat heads downstairs can get it. So, lad, I watched, he would come down, he went, what's he like? I went, he's fucking sound. I said, did it hurt, lad? Did it hurt? I went, lad, he kills you. He's got hands like steel. <laughs> I said, he fucking hurt, lad. I feel brand new. I thought, I'm not being the only one off this gun. Right, so the next fella goes up, comes down. Yeah, all right, lad. I said, yeah, yeah. Sounds him, weren't he? And he's like, he didn't want to admit, you know, no one wants to admit, Bill, you know what I mean? Was that anyway? It's all right, like, yeah, yeah. So next go go goes up. So about, in the end, about four of us got it done. And this young kid, <laughs> come down <laughs> and we're all standing there and he's fucking he gets off anyway see you next week I thought I, I went I was first to shout I went I didn't like him you know but I didn't want to still admit I went no we were in denial lads you know what I mean I was living in denial lads and I said you know I didn't I wasn't on him lads it was you so this kid went Nah, that like, bit weird. <laughs> you know like that bit honestly lads you know what I mean this kid went bit weird him lads and I went yeah he was you know and some kids went 
Har det lige jo snappet sådan en sommer, de får? Det er så sjovt. Ja, det er jo bare, vi har startet skrimen. Right, I got a right fucking grip of us, that day, lad. We just got mauled, he was a fucking... Oh, lad, he was a predator to the cult, he just mauled us, lad. He kept phoning me up, you know, Bill, for weeks. Hi, Darren. Um, how many have you got for me? I go, lad, fuck off, you know, you're not right. Stop bringing me kids and put the phone down. In the end, to block the fuck out, lad. He was funny, like, you know what I mean? What about Big Al? Oh, fucking hell, mate. So, uh, <laughs> what happened with Big Al, right? Was a lovely fella, by the way. Mention no I names. I won't mention no <laughs> names here. We'll just call him Big Al. So, it goes on one night and some kid's in the gym. And in my gym, you just get left the key because it's private, you know, now. And you just let yourself in and out. If you meet yeah. pal, there's a key, lad. You're in the gym, right? It's not commercial anymore. It's a private gym. And it's just for gym for me, me mate. But I run me personal business from it. So, Bill, you can have a key. Any of me pals can have a key. It's all on camera. It's all on CTV. You see it off me phone. So everything's cool, right? And I trust all the lads 100%. They're all proper scousers who are let in, right? But uh, as I say, I just do PTs in here. So I leave the lads with the key and I get off. So I'm in the house and some kid phones me. He goes, hey, Darren, there's just been some fella in for you. And I said, yeah, who? He went, um, how many years did he do, Bill? Did he do, he was Britain's longest serving prisoner, this fellow, weren't he? Over 30 something years, He yeah. something over 30 years. A unit years. and a half. Yeah, because some people will always go, well, oh, he only done this many. I yeah. don't know, but he's done over 30 something years, yeah. right? He went in at 17 and he come out in his mid 50s. Yeah. Or something like that or older. I don't know, I can't remember, but he was a unit, weren't he? Yeah. You met him, he was a unit. So, um, this kid goes, a fella's been in for your lads asking for you and all that. So I said, okay, who's that lad? He said he's got out after doing, say, 35 years. I thought, fucking hell, mate, I'm only 38. Fucking <laughs> hell, I don't know this fucking right, you know what I mean? So I said, oh, yeah, and straight away, t- I twig, Billy. I don't know why. Yeah. I twig do it was, and I thought, that'll be big, Allah. I knew, because I'd seen it in the paper that he got out and all that, and he'd yeah. done so many times, and Margaret Thatcher had made an example of him, him and the other kid. He, he was in for something and then, I won't say what he's in, because that's his own private business, but he was in for something. And yeah. then he got on the roof in the Strange Ways riots. Yeah. And Maggie Thatcher made him and the kid over the water. Paul, was it, or something is the kid's name. Yeah, yeah. She made them the leaders and he, she twatted them and he ended up getting another life sentence. Do you know what I mean? So they done pure hard time. So um, it was him. So the next day I come in and he come with his bed. And she paid his 30 quid membership. You know, we shook hands and he told me who he was and fucking, not bragging, lovely fella, right? When you say someone's rehabilitated, lad, he's been rehabilitated, yeah. this fella. He's done nothing but good since he got out of fucking jail. But like, you're still a bit on the back foot with him, Bill, because he's been in for some serious crimes, you know what I mean? And he yeah. was a right unit, big mixed race kid, fucking good, good, 18, 19 stone, built like fuck. So what he used to do... If anyone doesn't know bar weights, but the lads will know bar weights, he wouldn't get on the bench press, Bill. He put the bar on the floor because that's all he used to have bench and a bar in prison, innit? Mm. So he just put the bar on the floor. He'd get about 140 k. He'd pick it up, roll it along his legs, roll it onto his chest, and do bench press. Just repping it. Yeah, and then he put it down, roll it back along his belly onto his knee, and put it. So I said, Alan. There's two fucking benches there, lads. Why don't you use them? He went, nah, lads, I've always done that. He said in um, in jail, so we're not used to hooking them off, so you just get a bench and weights. So he done that. So anyway, time went on. Fucking big, I'll have been there about six months, Billy. Don't he give me 30 quid, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I was a bit hesitant to ask him. Fucking hell, he had to be back fucking four months worth it. So, so I was a bit hesitant and asking him for the money because, you know, why would you ask someone like that who's done 35 years? Have you got that 30 quid there? Lad, isn't it? It's one of them, isn't it? Leave him for his 30. But then one day I thought, oh, fuck that, mate. I'll have to ask him for the 30 quid. I'm on me uppers here. So um, he comes in. I went, all right, Al. How you, Darren? He was like from Manchester but he had a dead soft voice Alan how you Darren I said alright so I said um, I said your membership's up lad <laughs> oh lad <laughs> he felt terrible Bill see because he'd been in jail that long he didn't realise that you had to pay for stuff like the gym do you yeah. know what I mean in that way he didn't really know and he went Darren I'm so sorry I'll go now and lad he, he had an old motorbike a, 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 an old fucking moped outside that the scrapyard given for doing voluntary work then he went Darren you can have me bike I feel terrible I said Al I don't want your bike look kid I said I tell you what 
Because he was always trying to get work, yeah. Bill, and he couldn't. The man couldn't get work, you know what I mean? And it was he was a good a good fella, you know what I mean? He was fucking proper rehabilitated, nice fella. He had some great stories, lad, right? Me and him used to just sit off and just in the afternoon and have a chat. <laughs> and um, so he said, have the moped as payments. I said, look, train for fuck all. When you get on the feet and when you get a job, pay me back. Start paying your membership then. Lad, he couldn't thank me enough. But I didn't realise how big Al. He was a budding artist, lad. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he was an artist. So um, he said, Darren, can I pay? Can, how can I pay you back? I said, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing. He went, can I clean up? I said, I wouldn't have you cleaning up, lad. I do the clean. You just train. He wanted to do everything for me because he felt terrible. I said, you just train and work quits, lad, till you get a job. So he goes, all right. So he said, I've got some lovely art there, Darren. I said, oh, all right, lad. He went, can I, can I bring you some paintings in? They'll be lovely in your living room. <laughs> I went, yeah, give us a painting. Said, but Al, if you're watching, lad, you were a fucking shit painter, lad. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, mate. You used to bring these paintings in. <laughs> fucking hell, he come down and kill me soon. They bring these paintings in. And you were like, one was like Rolf Harris, you know, with a load of cats. <laughs> <lad>. <laughs> and he'd bring them in and he was made up with them, you know what I mean? Like, I just like... And he goes, do you like that, Darren? And I go, fucking lovely, lad. Because, you know, what are you going to tell a fellow who's done 35 years there, shite? <laughs> and, fuck, and I go, lovely then. But he'd been doing them for all them years. So we had loads of painting. So he'd bring a painting in every day. Like that, the prison service, you know, they, they yeah. gave him, he could collect all the stuff. He must have had fucking rooms of it, like one of them professional orders. Because <laughs> he just kept bringing them in. And we'd hang them up for a laugh. You know, on the wall, and I go, the lads are loving that. And it was like satin and blue toe and all that, you know, in the air and that lad. I go, the lads are loving that. So anyway, the younger, the eldest then, she was only about, about four. So he yeah, even brought me a matchstick lamp in, Bill. I had that plugged in for him when he, got, when he walked in, you know what I mean? So he um, he went like that to me one day. He said, I've got something for the kiddie there, Darren. I said, what is it? Ollie went, um, she'll love it, it's a clown. <laughs> So I said, yeah, t a teddy clown. So I thought, oh, he's went out and bought the baby a fucking clown. He's a fair play to you, lad. So he comes in with this clown, Bill. <laughs> oh, mate, you should have fucking seen it. So he gives me this clown. As soon as he took it out of the carrier bag, I went, what the fuck's that? He had this big, horrible fucking red, like, <laughs> sock nose on it. You know what I'm saying? Down, lad. It was made out of socks, lad, right? So I went... No, lads, that out of socks, lads. You know, it's all like multi cluttered this clown, lads. Now he goes, it's made out of socks, mate. And I'm looking at the clown, lads. And I'm like, it's fucking evil, that thing, lads. <laughs> Everyone who come in, right, that day went, where the fuck did you get that, lad? And I went, Alan, give me it. So I pulls him on his socks. I went, where'd you get all the socks, lads? Right? So he goes, I don't know the next fucking say Dartmoor somewhere because he'd been ghosted all around the country, Alan, you know what I mean? Because yeah. fucking Tachi hated him. He'd been to every prison and he got beat up, but he fucking fought back the system, you know what I mean? And he, he every screw I did in for him and fucking used to beat him up because he was on that strange ways, right? So he ended up with some of the, you know, some fucking top grills. He ended up with the craze, lad, and all that, just on a wing with yeah. them big Al, right? And uh, so I said, where'd you get all the fucking socks? Like, he went, well, I got some off Reggie. So they got them off like fucking Ronnie Cray and all that. And I'm looking at these socks, mate. Dude, the, the fucking clown was made out of murderous lads. You know what I mean? <laughs> lads, I'm looking at the fucking clown. I thought, I'm not giving me kid that it's made out of murderous socks, lads. It's got fucking um, Frankie Fraser's arm on it for the sock, lads. I thought, I'm not fucking bringing that home. So what I've done, yeah. as I say, everyone's got a key in the gym, Bill. Yeah. So what I've done, I'd, I'd fucking, I'd put the clown in the corner. And as I'd be turning off the lights, lad, it's had this big look. I was <laughs> lad, and I'd look at the clown and think, is he fucking looking at me, this cunt? You know, yeah, yeah. turning off the light. Lad, I was shit myself. Come on, 19 stone, turn off the light, and I'd go, don't oh, pop it in. I thought, sure, that's fucking move, that's evil, that cunt. But the lads used to have me on, and every day someone would come in earlier than me, switch off all the lights, because I let the lads get in early if they want. And he'd move the clown, and me head would go fucking, me head would fall off, Bill. You know, the, the clown would be by the, the telly one time then someone had moved it by a cupboard and in the end some student come in and went because the students who were doing law loved Alan yeah because you know he'd go round the unis out and he'd give speeches and that and they, they, they loved them lads you know what I mean and um, they all wanted this artwork and the students would come in and they'd go has Alan left any paintings and they were fucking made up with them and I'd say yeah he had he's left that and all the students but some students took the clown bill I was glad to see the arse end of it mate <laughs> I went on the sunbed and um, in the gym. 
and I went on it too long, Bill. I was running it. It was one of them high-powered fuckers. Yeah. And I went on it about fucking 12 minutes, you know, thinking, oh, I'm all right. Just have a fucking decent bronze here. So I went on it anyway. I got off. And I, feel, I felt a bit burnt, lad. Looked and I went, oh, fucking hell, I'm all red. Because I went on it for too long. It was proper strong. And um, I went, oh, shit, I need phone credit. So from my gym, bag and booze on Voxy is only the end of Voxy, right? So I said, oh, I'll go along to Voxy, get some phone credit. So it was a Friday night, Bill. Walks into Bag and Booze. All the kids from Bayaz are all outside and in Bag and Booze. And the students live above. It's massive, in it? Fucking all the students area. And it's shocking. It's about 20 deep, the queue. Yeah. So it gets in the back of the queue and I'm fucking standing there. And there's this big ginger cunt, right? <laughs> in the middle, about six foot four. And he's standing in the middle of the queue, lad. And he was just giving the stick out, ruthless. So there's some bed in the queue and he goes, Hey! Hey, hey, big tits, big tits. <laughs> right, and she's like that, the girl, you know, looking down, only a student, lad. Right, big tits. And she's like, I went fucking heavy in me, didn't it? Next minute, he moves to this other kid, and he went, hey, you want to do something over them spots on your face? The spots on your face, you want to do something? <laughs> and I went, oh, fucking hell, lad. The kid went fucking purple, you know what I mean? I thought, I can leave it out, you, you cunt. You're bullying everyone in the queue. And he went on. He went down the queue, Bill, and he's getting closer to me, and I'm standing there like some bed set, all fucking red at the back, yeah. like, like a right cunt, being on the lecky beach. So I'm standing there at the back, and he went, so he spots me, lad, and he went, have you been on the sunbed? Have you been on the sunbed? And I went, oh, for fuck's sake, you don't want to admit you go on the sunbed, do you, lad? You know what I mean? You're supposed to be a scouser, you're going on sunbeds. Leave that to the Essex crowd. And I went, Sam, no. He went, where have you been? I felt under pressure, Bill, so alive. And I went, Tenerife. <laughs> like, yeah, like that. And he went, Was it hot? Was it hot? Was it hot in Tenerife? And I went, Oh, fucking hell, mate. He was roasting. And he went, You're all red. You're still all red. And I went, All right, lads. Fuck off, will you? <laughs> so I turned then, Bill. I said, You know what, lads? I said, I've seen you fucking bully everyone in the queue there. I said, You're a fucking bullying cunt, you, you soft swat. Right? Just, sorry about swearing. I said, So I called him everything. So he goes, I've got a brother in the car. He's as big as you, he'll fight you. <laughs> and I went, oh, really, mate? You know, to myself, I went, go and fucking get him. Go ahead, lad, go and get your fucking brother. Guy. We've been waiting outside. We've been waiting. I thought, oh, for fuck's sake, and he wanted a little go in the half fucking sunbed. I'm getting fucking leathered here and straightened outside. There was a load of kids. It's a Friday night, loads of kids in bag and booze from Bayard. So one of them went, Dan, and go ahead, lads, get out there. You'll fuck him. I thought, oh, for fuck's sake. So I looks out the window getting closer to the till, Bill. And his brother got out. His brother looked like Grossberger, that big fat cunt he was, but he was big, like, he was a bar six foot four. But he pulled a jemmy out of the car. Now, anyone who's not scouser, jemmy's a big spanner. Yeah. So he pulls his fucking spanner out the car, lad. And I'm looking through the window. I get to the front. And I know Ali, he had bag and booze then. And Ali goes, Darren, do not go outside. Do not go outside. He is crazy. I will call the police. Do not go outside. I went, Ali, I'm fucking going, like, saying it in you. Not that the kids are all going, go on, Darren, fuck it, man. Right? So, fucking, I went, ah, fuck it, I went. And he went in for the tennis credit bill. I went, lad, do, Ali, do us a favour, lad. I said, give us a bottle of vodka. I thought, I'll let's over the heads with it, you know what I mean? There's two of them, Bill. And with a fucking jemmy, you've got to do something. Darren, you are crazy. Please stay in. We will lock the doors and we will call the police. I said, Ali, give us the fucking, give us the fucking bottle of vodka, lad. So I walked out and all the kids are behind me. It was like quiet man, remember quiet man, lads, <laughs> yeah. they're all following me outside. Gets outside and he's standing there doing his blood and I went, come on, you fucking cunt. I said, I tell you what I'm going to do, lad. This is going right over your head here, Ginger. And the fucking end of it's going in your neck to Grossberger. So they're both standing there and he went, you'll get your comeuppance. You'll see. You'll get your comeuppance. Right, and I'm thinking, fucking hell. Next minute, the two of them shit and he jumped in the car. So he fucks off and I'm standing there. Some kid went, here's the right, Zaren, lad, you'd leather them too. And I thought, oh, fuck's sake, fucking hell, them, them gypsy kids, they can fucking fight, can't yeah, they? It's... And he went, they've probably gone back there to Oil Street to get a load of them. To... Just stand on, lad, they'll all be up now. And I went, <laughs> stand on. Yeah, yeah, trying to front it, Bill. I went, yeah, yeah, fucking let them, lad. Do you know what I mean? Let them come. I stood there about five minutes. And I'm thinking, for fuck's sake, Bill, I only lived around the corner. And all the kids are standing. And I went, this shit, lad, he's probably not going to come. Fuck off, taxi. He jumped in the taxi and went around the corner. do oh, fuck that. I would have got leathered. They're being like gorgeous George. Remember in Snatch? Getting it outside bag and booze, mate.